apart from the constant hand washing, hand sanitizer, and wearing masks, today I want to talk to you about how I protect my family from COVID-19. And I got a lot of stuff here to talk about. And my guess is a lot of these things you will have never seen before. Or maybe you will have. Maybe you're super cool and like trendy and you always know what the cool new thing is. I'm not that person, but I have friends who are and they always clue me in. So yeah. I can't claim credit. We do spend money on quality items as we do with everything else because we live with my parents and both of them are very high risk. And Melina, our eight-year-old, is also high risk. Mauricio and I are going in and out of the house to work every single day and have been pretty much this whole time. We've been on quarantine multiple times and Melina is going to a pod school, so her and seven other kids and three adults. So we are putting ourselves out there. Our jobs demand it, so what are we going to do? It's not like we can argue with our bosses. So today I want to show you all of the products that we use because some of these are super cool. And some of them are probably the same products you use at home. So I'll just kind of go over those quickly. But the ones you don't know about that I think you should, I'll, I'll go a little more detail. So the first one is this. This is a sanitizer wristband by Freeband. And I'll put a link down in the description box and, and I contacted Freeband and they are gonna give you a dollar off, which is awesome. I honestly first started seeing things like this on Amazon and I've tried several and none of them have worked very well. This is the only one I've tried that truly, truly works. So it's got this little hole here and you just pop that open. You get this refill bottle and you just squirt the hand sanitizer in there. And you can fill this refill bottle up with any kind of hand sanitizer you want. And it'll take, each one of these takes about half of the bottle here. And it's super comfortable. It doesn't bother me at all. And then you want to use it you know, you can wear it where the squirter side is on this side, or you can wear it. I always wear it like this because it makes it easier because I use, I let Melina use this too. And you just push on it a little bit and out comes the hand sanitizer. That means you're not sticking your nasty, dirty hands into your pockets or your purse or anything. And it's great for Melina because I just come over and like Melina, sanitizer, and I give her a little squirt and she's good to go. And the truth is they just came out with a line of kids bands too. And ours is actually scheduled to arrive today or tomorrow and she has been dying for it. She's been asking me for it for like two weeks. They just started making them and I wish it had gotten here in time for me to include it in this video, but just know they do have kids bands. So once everybody's going back to school, this is great. So I've used this thing nonstop since I got it a while ago. And each one lasts me the whole day, even if I'm out and about, um, you know, whenever I feel like I need it, it, it t has about 10 to 15 squirts in it. So, which is a reasonable amount if you're out for the whole day doing something, it lasts me all day at work. And, you know, like I said, I'm constantly going up and down the elevators and to the bathroom and all the areas, the cafeteria and all the places where you're gonna encounter germs. So I use it a lot during the day. And then I actually have this, I always shove it in my purse just in case I need it. But honestly, I don't think I've ever refilled during the day. So the next thing is our Moldex masks. And this is what Mauricio uses. Let me hold on. So these are our Moldex masks. And so they do have a valve on the front, which they don't recommend for COVID. And I totally get that because I don't want to be contaminating people. But these are also really easy to get comparatively to the other masks. Because the ones with nobody wants to buy these because you're not supposed to have the ones with the valve. So we actually do this handy dandy little trick. Let me show you. So we have these filters that we use in cloth masks when we use those. And we just shove one of those in there and it protects the valve. Ta-da! These masks obviously are not ideal and I am waitlisted to get the ones without the valves, but Mauricio loves these because what's great about them is they have this little release valve, release clasp. So you can put them around your neck 
and around your head and then there you go now i will tell you that these are expensive and so we obviously don't make these one-time use we get them in packages of 10 or 20 depending on who we buy them from i did some research and it appears that other SARS viruses get killed at i think it's 138 degrees don't quote me on that i could be wrong but it's just slightly over 100 degrees and i found online and i hope this works we haven't gotten sick and we've been exposed multiple times so keep that in mind so we get these things these little Ziploc disposable plastic containers, which I hate by the way, but for this purpose, they're really good. And we take a little tiny piece this big of paper towel, which I also try not to use. And then we have a glass eyedropper in this little like shot glass, that, which we fill up with water, filtered water. And then we put the mask inside here we put 10 drops of water on this and put it in with the mask and close it up and put it in the oven for an hour. After an hour, we take it out, we let it sit and cool off and, and that kind of gives it like a steam heat to, to kill the virus. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but I can't afford to buy a $7.50 mask every day. So we need to make these things last. Now, me personally, I hate these masks because I have a super narrow nose that curves up on the end. See? So this particular mask slides down this part of my nose and it rests right here and it seals it off. And so I have them walking around like this all day and that is super annoying. But on top of that, most masks, because my nose curves up a tad at the end, most masks push on that and smush my nose which drives me insane. So I have been on the hunt for every single kind of mask. And I did try, you know, just a plain cotton mask with a filter in it and these, you know, guards. And these weren't horrible because they kind of hold their form. They're silicone, you know, super flexible, comfortable. And then you put your mask over it. And so it doesn't mush my nose as much, but it still mushed it a little bit. Then I came across this. This is the O2 Canada Curve Respirator 1.2. And like I said, I went looking for it because I have a curvy nose and I love this thing. It sits off of my face. I can't talk with it on. I mean, I can talk with it on. It just takes a little effort, so I'm not gonna film with it on. but I love it. The inside is silicone and it's super squishy and soft and it doesn't mush my nose because it stands out far enough that the end of my nose doesn't get mushed down. This is medical grade silicone and it doesn't slide up and down when I talk. It sticks in place really well. And so under this shell, it has a filter. Let me take this off. So there's this little filter in there that you just slide on this mask and the filter has an electrostatic charge which holds particles inside the mask. So this does come in colors, this outer shell. It comes in red and blue and white and black. And I'm not gonna lie, the white one looks a little like a jock strap. So I never wear the white one because I get teased a lot when I wear the white one. But the black one is by far my favorite. I did have people, when I put the blue one on, when I put that on, <laughs> when I put the blue one on, I've had people tell me I look like one of those, uh, the baboon that has the blue face. <laughs> so anyway, I love that because the ear, it goes over your ear and it fastens loosely behind your neck. So you can take the ear straps off if you need to and it just hangs around your chest and it does also have a surgical mask adapter if you're you know like super compulsive or maybe you work in a high risk environment um you put this little ring over and it attaches to the holes on the front and it's a ring here that makes it stand out a little and then you can put a surgical mask over the top and in their video they show a lot of other colors other than blue black white and red but those are the only colors they sell right now. I'm waiting for pink. Actually, I'm waiting for pink bedazzled. I, 
I need a little sparkle in my life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But uh, black is by far my favorite right now. And the best part about it is I'm able to wash it after each use. And at very minimum, I can take these things right here. And I keep these in my car. And when I get in my car and I'm going home for the day, I wipe the whole mask down with this before I set it down. That way, if it's got any live virus on it, it kills it. Opticide Max. I got on Amazon. Whether they actually work again, I don't know. I'm gonna trust. So then we move on to Melina and Melina has a little bit of um, sensory issues. And so for her, because she's in school, she has to wear a mask the whole day. Unlike Mauricio and I, when you know we're in our own offices, we don't have to keep a mask on unless somebody comes in. Melina is sitting in a room with other kids and she has to wear a mask. And so, when she first started wearing masks, we found that like licking and sucking the mask was an issue for her because it would get sucked into her mouth and then she'd chew on it a little. And when it becomes wet, it becomes useless. So we had to come up with a solution for that. And like us, we found these little plastic frames that are kid size, see, too small for my face, that are very similar to these silicone ones but just a much smaller scale. And these are hard plastic. And what you do is you put these, just a regular mask with a filter, and these don't have filters in them right now, but you just put them over there and put them on your face and it holds the mask off your face. And so it kept it dry. And Melina says that's so much more comfortable. And they do have these little clips on them that you could put right here to keep it in place if you want. We never use it. She just shoves it in there in the middle. And then we take one of these and shove it in there. Melina's favorite masks, obviously, because she is, you know, the cool kid. She wants the tie-dyed mask or and we have various forms of tie-dye masks, some with pockets for filters and some without. So when we found them without filter pockets, we just cut our own because almost every single mask has two layers and you can just shove a filter in there just by snipping the little line here. And we have found that these, you can buy these separately on Etsy and probably Amazon too, these little silicone like ear tightener things. So if you have a mask that is an adult size mask, you can make it a kid size mask just by adding this on. These masks came with them and I'll put a link to the description box. These were super cheap actually. I think it was like four or five for 16 bucks. I don't know. I don't remember, don't quote me on that price. So, and then of course we have our humorous mask, which a friend made these for Mauricio and I, and I love them because they make me laugh. So they are a crown royal mask and they come with nose wire and filter pocket. And holy cow, I love this. This makes me laugh every time I see it. So my mom has an O2 like I have, I gave that for her for her birthday. She doesn't go out very much um, right now. She's at super high risk, so she tries to stay home. My dad's out and about a little bit more, but not a ton. This is my dad's favorite mask, the Acumed KN95. And KN95 is basically, I believe, the Chinese equivalent to N95. And we have a lot of these also when we're gonna be outside in a sweaty situation because I tried wearing the O2 when I was outside in the middle of the summer and the silicone makes your face sweat extra super duper a lot. And we don't want to use one of the expensive Moldex masks when we're outside sweating because then it has to get thrown away because it's gross. So we always use these cheaper, like disposable over the ear masks. So the last couple of things for right now, we have these little tiny bottles of hand sanitizer and I give Melina one and I have her put it in her pocket and take it with her to school until her, her bracelet thing comes in. But um, yeah, that these are great and these have a really good like citrus smell. It doesn't smell like alcohol. We got one hand sanitizer that smelled like vodka and every single time we went to use it, we really felt like alcoholics. So we have it in the cabinet, but we don't use it anymore. <laughs> so um, also during this time, we've had some fairly significant issues with our thermometers. And so our doctor actually recommended this one. It is the Braun Thermoscan 7. 
and we have used it a ton because we take our temperatures every day before we go to work because we don't want to you know expose anyone to anything in addition to all this stuff we try and eat super healthy meals and you know get the right amount of sleep and exercise so if you're new here i bet you're wondering why we live with my parents so in this video i'm explaining all that in detail and i promise you it isn't what you think so i'll see you in the next one